What is up guys and welcome to another Pokemon card opening video. Now, recently I actually bought a ton of Japanese sets, sets that I have not opened before. I've opened a couple of newer Japanese sets recently and it's really gotten me into wanting to go back and open some of the more premium sets. On top of that, some of the sets that I just think are kind of cool looking. So today we're opening one of those sets that I just think is kind of cool looking and that is a set called Remix Bout. Now for me, Remix Bout was the first one I wanted to open because I am a Gen 1 guy. This set primarily focuses on tag team cards featuring the big three, Charizard, Venusaur, and Blastoise. Now unfortunately, there is another Pokemon in this set. Alolan Persian <laughs> plagues this set. All of the other secret rares and stuff in this set are fantastic, but Alolan Persian has a secret rare uh, in this set. And if you guys didn't know, in Japanese boxes, you're guaranteed one secret rare. Secret rares are a little bit different in Japanese boxes, and you'll kind of see why. A lot of the full art trainers are secret rares. A lot of the full art Pokemon cards are secret rares. On top of that, like rainbows or gold cards, stuff like that, are also secret rares. So it's not like in English where kind of the gold cards and the rainbows are really the only secret rares. A lot of other cards in Japanese sets can also be secret rares. First, I just want to point out this box art. Look at the box art. It almost pained me to open this. I'm going to have to buy one of these to keep sealed uh, on the shelf. But man, I love seeing my three Kanto boys. Obviously, you have uh, Braxton, Snivy, and Piplup as well. They are also featured in a lot of the tag team cards. Hopefully, we'll see today. And man, I'm just excited to open this. So let's let's open this up. I'll show you guys kind of what a, a box from Japan looks like. So on the left and right side of the box, it actually, I think they're checklists. Yeah, they're card checklists. So you can pull these out and keep them as a card checklist and you can check off all the Pokemon that you get. And then on top of that, you get the packs. Now each box comes with 30 packs. And as you guys might see, the pack is pretty thin. And that is because uh, Japanese sets, or at least main sets some of the premium sets have more cards but the main sets in japanese pokemon cards only come with five cards per pack and you're not guaranteed anything in any of the packs you're guaranteed something in a box but per pack you can get a hollow you cannot get a hollow you can get a rare you cannot get a rare it's kind of like opening a dollar store pack all right i got all the packs cut we got a lot to get through so let's get started let's hop on in it's kind of nice when you cut the packs especially on the japanese packs english packs are a little bit different but you can just kind of slide the cards out <laughs> which is which is kind of nice because then the corners don't really get caught up on anything and i believe if we want to we can do one to the front and that will move the, uh, if we were to get a good card, that would move that to the back. Um, most Japanese sets put the best card in the fourth slot of the five card pack. So if you want to do a bit of a pack trick, you can do that. Otherwise, you're, it's going to be in that fourth card slot. So, looks like we have a Bisharp, or a Bisharp, Ponyta, uh, Stuffle, Embor, and a Trainer card. Uh, I think this might be a switch, it looks like. Psyduck. Rapidash. Tropius. And a Marshadow. Oh, <laughs> I kind of thought Marshadow was giving me the finger there for a second. He's not. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I don't know who that is. Is that Koga's daughter? I'm not sure. Whalmer. Heracross. There's my boy. One of my top 10 favorite Pokemon right there, Heracross. Absolute beast. Rotom. And... A, crab a Crabominable? Is that what it is? Crabominable? So the card I would be looking for personally in here uh, is either the the Charizard Braxton. Um, obviously the Rainbow would be sick. That's kind of one of the big chase cards. Or a Blastoise Piplup. I would be happy with a Venusaur Snivy as well. Uh, Venusaur is not necessarily my favorite of the Kanto starter evolutions, but I, uh, I do like him too. Muck. Psyduck. Simeon, Grimer, and our first Hollow Kyogre. I, I I love the Japanese cards. Like, just look at this. If you haven't opened Japanese cards before, look at the holographic here. It's hollow all the way around the edges. You also get the hollow behind the Pokemon like you normally would in the English set. Like, they just look so much nicer than English cards, in my opinion. I just, ah, man, I just love Japanese cards. Now, like I was saying, one of the secret rares in the set is the Alolan Persian. And, uh... 
I'm not a big fan of Alolan Persian. I, I'm not sure if I have ever met someone who is a big fan of Alolan Persian, but I am hoping that our secret today is not the Alolan Persian. <laughs> I would be a little disappointed if it was. Phantump. <clears throat> Uh, it's not Embor. I don't know what his name is. And another holographic. Ooh, holographic Dusk Noir. Nice. All right, Zangoose. Energy. Alolan Meowth. Not my favorite. And Tangrowth. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to the, the Japanese sets, but there is a set out right now called Matchless Fighters. And we opened some of that recently and got the alternate art Articuno. The cool thing about Matchless Fighters is it focuses on not only a gold Snorlax secret rare, which is really cool, but it also has the Galarian Birds in alternate art form. Lots of people going for that Moltres. It's a beautiful looking card. You should definitely look it up. Oh, okay, our first tag team. Nice. All right, sick. We got the Venusaur Snivy. And that is just a regular rare. Or, a, you know, tag team rare. <laughs> an ultra rare, but an RR, not an SR. <laughs> Very nice. I do have another set called Miracle Twins on its way as well. And that one focuses more on psychic type Pokemon, especially Mew and Mewtwo. There's some really cool uh, Mew and Mewtwo alternate art cards in there that i would love to get as well very very cool looking cards all right we have a something catcher maybe tepig oh he's a cutie golduck swimming in the bottom of the ocean absol and a beware i think i've talked about sun and moon quite a lot just kind of the reason why i can't go back and play it uh and i haven't played ultra sun ultra moon just because it's got a bit of the same problem i have a hard time getting past the initial tutorial in those games it's quite long I wish you could skip it, but unfortunately, it is the way that it is. Psyduck and a holographic, is that a miner? Holographic miner or uh, engineer or something like that? This set does have some uh, full art trainers. I think the coolest one, in my opinion, is I think there's a Professor, I might be thinking of something else, but I thought there was a Professor Oak full art trainer that has him, he's like standing there in front of the three Pokeballs. It's a super iconic uh, looking full art trainer. I forget if it's in this set or in a different set, but Heracross, Rotom, Simeon, Marshadow again, giving us the finger, not the finger you're thinking of. All right, Trevenant, Tropius, Grimer, I said Muck, <laughs> Rapidash, and another holographic Groudon. Professor Oak, Pancham, Bisharp, no, I don't know what the first one's called. Duffel and Entei. Okay, sweet. Zangoose. Absol Deerling and Beware. Isn't the story behind Beware like he can, he'll, he'll like hug you and crush you and kill you? Is it something scary like that? Like his hug power has the force of some sort of vice grip type thing and it would just crush a human being. Tepig. Uh, crab guy, and then Embor, <laughs> trainer, Deerling, Absol, uh, this guy. Whoa, okay, okay, we got. Uh, all right, all right, we got the roller skater, secret rare. Nice, very cool car. It's got it's got really nice uh, artwork on it, but. Not exactly the one that I was looking for. I gotta say, I definitely am happy that it's not a, uh, that it's not an Alolan Persian. Very happy about that. But it seems to be one that's very popular. Maybe, maybe a, a higher pop of the card actually in the set. Kind of, kind of the, kind of the one that's fairly easy maybe to pull. Um, as opposed to the other tag team, uh, cool ones like that. But, you know what? That's really cool. I really like the full art trainers and the artwork on there is really cool is that look at they they inlaid a texture like here that's not here you see that it's a really cool looking artwork and card all right so sometimes sometimes i don't know if this is the case with sets with the uh, earlier sets but i know in uh the more modern sets you can get a secret and a hyper you can get both 
I don't know if that's something that can happen in the Sun and Moon Japanese sets as well, or if that's a new thing, but it is possible. So I guess we'll still keep a lookout for something crazy, because it could be a thing. I don't know. Let me know in the comments if we still have a chance of hitting something big. When I opened uh, the Battle Styles equivalent in Japanese, we did hit a box that had not one, but two uh, Secret Rares. One was a Gold Hound Doom, and one was a Phoebe. It was a pretty sick box. It was pretty insane. Uh, but it can happen, so just not sure if it can happen this far back. Is that Blacephalon? I'm not... It, it, it's an Ultra Beast, I think. Uh, I don't really know much about the Ultra Beast, just because I didn't play uh, the Ultra versions of Sun and Moon, but very cool. Another nice-looking Hollow from the set. All right, Trevenant. Pangoro. Ponyta. Bye, Sharp. And another Groudon Hollow. The thing about Japanese cards too is the um, the quality control seems to be a lot better on Japanese cards. So a lot of the times the cards won't be like extremely off center. Uh, most of the time the corners and stuff coming out of the pack look really nice. Even on the front and the back, you don't really have to worry about a lot of damage to the card straight out of the pack. In English sets, especially the ones recently, like Battle Styles, um, even Vivid Voltage had some issues. I know people complain a lot about evolutions. Uh, I think it's probably just because they're printing, they're trying to make up for kind of a lack of product on the line currently. So they're they're printing faster, which I think is kind of hurting the overall quality of the cards at the minute. But for some reason in Japanese, they all they always stay good. I don't know. They just have, maybe they just have a better, a, a better work ethic over there. I'm not sure. Here we go. Oh, hey, there he is. Alolan Persian. Thankfully, not the secret rare. I do like that the card, that the packs only have five cards because you come away with a lot less bulk. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's a lot less you have to, uh, you have to deal with afterwards. You just kind of fill your binder and not have any excess. It's kind of nice. Epic. Golduck. Roller Skater. Another Hollow. Another Hollow. Whoever this guy is. Dust Noir. We actually had our first ever box break recently. Uh, just last weekend. It was a lot of fun. We did $5 Battle Styles packs. Uh, my next box break will be Vivid Voltage. Um, which will be cool and we'll also be doing a little bit more of battle style So if you're interested in box breaks and you're seeing this Fairly early on you might be able to get into the next box break if you join the discord You should definitely join the discord to uh, I notify them all about the box breaks And then they all message me and I, I kind of pre-sell a lot of the packs and then on the day of Sometimes packs are still available. You can get in then but definitely you should join the discord and when I ping about the break, just reach out and DM me, and we'll get you in on it. Absol. Roller Skater. Tangrowth. I feel like we should be getting more GXs. I haven't seen very many GXs. I haven't seen very many tag teams either. I don't know what's going on. Oh, right when I say that, we get our Blastoise and Piplup. Man, I, lo I absolutely love the artworks on these cards. Man, that's such a cool looking card. We might still be able to pull a Hyper. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, I'll, I'll have to look it up and see if that can also happen in uh, like Sun and Moon boxes like it can in the in the newer boxes from Sword and Shield. I don't know, but I hope so. Holographic... Ooh, Victini. Holographic Victini. Beautiful. All right. Here we go. Charizard Braxton. Holographic... Guzzlord? Is that what it is? Is this is this one Guzzlord? I, <laughs> I don't know who thought up that name. Guzzlord. I cannot wait to go back to Japan, dude. There's so much that I missed over there, especially Pokemon related. I have so many, uh, you know, video ideas and things that I want to do when I go. Very excited. I got my vaccination recently, so that shouldn't stop me from traveling in the, in the future. Golduck. Oh, right when I said it. Oh, yes, dude. That is a that is a second secret rare. We got the secret rare Blastoise and Piplup. That is a oh my god, yes. We got two secret rares in one box. Oh my god, on the last pack too. I did not think. I didn't even know if it was possible in the Sun and Moon boxes. 
we got the Blastoise and Piplup alternate art or full art, I guess. Tag team. That is beautiful. And our second secret rare. So not only did we get the roller skater trainer secret rare, but we got the Blastoise and Piplup full art secret rare. Oh my God, guys, that is awesome. We got two secret rares in one freaking box. Yes, that's the second time that's happened. Super happy about that. Yes, dude, that is so awesome. All right, sick. That, that that made the whole thing, that made the whole thing worth it. I was like cherry on top. Like, I love the cards I got, but holy crap, slapping that one down at the end was like, yeah, <laughs> super awesome. All right, guys, thank you very much for coming by. If you enjoyed the video today, please hit the like and subscribe button. Gotta give a quick shout out to my one and only patron over on patreon.com slash javakuma. Chris Box, really appreciate it as always, man. And I hope everyone has a fantastic rest of your day. We'll see you on the next one.